What's happening, Hypesters? Shogun here, coming at you with a demo of the new off-screen camera node released in the latest Hype Hype update. What the off-screen camera does is essentially it allows you to add a second camera to your scene that can send whatever it sees as an image to other tools. So first, let us add an off-screen camera to our game. We're going to go to Logic. We're going to add a node. We're going to scroll down to the Meta category, and there we will find off-screen camera. We'll place this about where we want it to be so that it's looking at our scene there. And the settings in here are really straightforward. We have enabled, we have execute, we have a FOV for the camera, and then we have our output. Currently, the only node that can accept an image input is gonna be the user interface node. So I've set up a UI node here. Very simple, it's got an image here. Obviously the image itself has not been set. I also set up a panel so that we can render this in 3D space. Uh, one thing we need to make sure we have here is in the panel, I've set position from world vector so we can put that in the 3D world. And then in the image inputs, of course, we wanna be able to add an image. Once that's done, we just take our output and we put it into the image there. We're gonna wanna use that calculated value. And then for this example, we will just execute this on start and already I'll hit play and we'll see there is the image our off-screen camera is getting. Now, a few things to note about that. One is that it only sends an image when it is executing. It is not sending an image all the time. Uh, this is for performance reasons. If you have two cameras creating images at the same time all the time, it's going to be heavy on your performance. So you really want the off-screen camera to only execute when you need it to. Now, right now we're executing this as start, but let's say we wanted to get a little motion out of this. I've added an interval here. Uh, we're gonna put that on time to execute. And so now the duration on this is 0.25, which means we're essentially executing this node four times every second. I'm also gonna grab a mover here and I'm gonna just target this to the camera so that the camera is moving. We can see that motion that we're getting. And of course we want that to execute on start. Now we go in here, we can see it looks a little choppy, but we're seeing the movement of that camera as it moves closer to the scene. Now a few other things to note that you might notice looking at the image here. Obviously we can see the resolution is quite low. I've blown it up quite a lot. But another thing is there's a number of things in the game that do not render when they are outside of the game camera view. And we can see a few of them right here in this image. So we know that that character has a waving animation and you may have noticed as the camera was zooming in, her hand is always just staying static right up here, right? Um, that is because the animations do not play when the character is off screen. And even though we have this off screen camera currently, it doesn't consider that being on screen. So therefore it's not rendering that animation. Also shadows, you notice in this image, there are no shadows, whereas if we go and look at the image, obviously we have a lot of really nice shadows here. So the shadows, again, only render in the game camera view. So your off-screen camera is not gonna be see shadows. Other things, uh, text nodes, particle effects, stuff like that does not render when it is out of view of the game camera. So those are a few current limitations to this tool, but Still a lot of things you could use this for. Really looking forward to seeing what you guys do with it. Tune in every Thursday to the Hype Hype Live. We go over new tools like this all the time. We also answer your Hype Hype editor questions every other week on the Hype Hype help desk. Hope to see you there. Peace out, hypesters.